Hello everyone, my name is Michael Forte, and today I will give you a presentation on something I know to be true. Something I've came to, uh, something that I discovered 13 years back, and I officially came to the conclusion that nothing is impossible as long as you try hard enough. Now, when you guys think of the word impossible, there are probably a bunch of images that go through your head, but does anyone know the true definition of impossible? Probably not. So the true definition is not able to occur, exist, or be done. Now, if we really think deeply about this definition, we start to realize that nothing really falls underneath this category. I mean, yes, you can say that it is impossible to fly without an airplane, but there's this invention called the jetpack. And yes, you could also say that it's impossible to be invisible, but China's one step ahead of us making the first ever invisibility cloak. I know, I was stunned to silence myself. but. I guess the point I'm trying to say is we have massive inventions like this, but even something as simple as the smart TV, 50 years back, no one ever thought that this would be an invention made. This was considered impossible. Even the cell phones that we carry every single day, 50 years ago, that was considered impossible. Having a computer on you at all times, it was unheard of. But I know what you guys are probably asking, how can I achieve the impossible without being a computer scientist, an engineer, or make the next best smartphone? And it's something we could do in our everyday lives. And I'm gonna teach you how you can achieve the impossible. Now we do things every single day, whether they be good, bad, easy or hard. We live days and we have to do tasks that, um, that achieve those things and some of the tasks that we do may seem impossible. Now, we, I'm going to bring up an average school day to the average student. Now, most of you guys, you guys will go to school and let's say you have the whole day planned ahead of you. You have to go to your job, maybe get some extra cash, and then after that, you hang out with your friends and you call it a day. But then you realize you have to do homework, you have to go to your, uh, you have to work out, and you have to go to your sister's dance recital, and now you're stuck, and now you don't know what to do. So what do you do? It's quite simple. It's hard, frustrating, annoying, yet simple. You just got to take a deep breath in, and take a deep breath out, and when you open your eyes, you'll feel so much better. Now I know that sounds very cliche, but it does work. And you gotta remember that life is almost like a movie, an uncut movie. Has anyone ever heard the phrase, the show must go on? Yes, exactly. So life is basically like that. You just gotta go on with it. And you gotta get the important stuff out of the way, and then the rest is just how life falls into play. Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible, but it is very improbable, and maybe some days you can get it all done. And those are the days where you get to reward yourself and have fun. But you gotta remember that nothing comes easy in life, and you gotta get the important stuff out of the way. And you also gotta remember that you're not the only one going through stress. In fact, the average American on a 1 to 10 scale is actually at a 5.1 level of stress, and that lays under the category of very severe. So if we really want to change this, we have to get the important stuff out of the way, and then once we do that, we will be less stressed and we will be able to focus on what we love most. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys how I have achieved the impossible. Now, I'm not saying that I built a smart robot, I'm not saying that I built uh, a smart TV or anything to that matter, but what I have done is about four years ago, I have won a Taekwondo tournament. Now I know what you guys are saying, a tournament, how is that impossible, Michael? And the answer to that, it's not impossible because I did it. But you guys are also probably saying, okay, how did it seem impossible to start out and what made you strive to get it done and how did it all end out? And the answer to that is that, yes, I wasn't the strongest person there. I wasn't the fastest person there and I wasn't the highest endurance person there. But something I can say and tell you all with a straight face is that I was the most determined person there. And I was the one who wanted the first place medal the most. I was the one who worked as hard as I can and pushed my limits to taste that victory and the gold medal around my neck. So I guess you're probably wondering, well, Michael, uh, how did you win the tournament with all these bigger people and all and such? 
Now, I can really milk this out and say, you can do it, and you're special just the way you are, and you could win every single time, but to be honest, you're not. You're not going to win it unless you try hard and you uh, decide to achieve your goals. Now, remember in the beginning, I said nothing was impossible, but does anyone remember what I said after that? Nothing is impossible as long as you try hard enough. Now, if you are not trying hard enough, you have to keep working at what you need to do and you need to keep working at what you love most. And if you do that, I'm pretty sure we'll all be able to achieve the impossible. And every single day, we'll look at each other in the eyes and say together that we have achieved the impossible. Thank you guys very much.